mom is probably gonna watch this and she's probably gonna find out the kind of girl that I am by the mama. I had a friend who told me, if that guy is horrible at sex, don't make a sound, sweetie. Do not make a sound. Do, say zoch, do not make a sound. Sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but yeah, you get the point. Welcome to Fifty Shades of Jessica Season 1. This show is based on how my life changed after I became sexually active. So, I'm gonna talk about the day I first broke my virginity. Sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Yeah, I broke my virginity. I was 17 years old. I was 17. I had this boy and I was obsessed with I was really really obsessed with I wrote poems about him. Even wrote like a short story about him. So the day I broke my virginity, I knew. The thing is, I, I knew about it. I planned it, I knew that I was gonna break my virginity. He called me, he was like, Hey babe, where are you? Me and the boys are booking a hotel and I want you to come. I was like, okay, cool. Then I knew that I was going to break my virginity. I shaved my flower. No, you must shave it. You must always shave your flower. Even though I hate shaving. Oh. I hate shaving because it takes time. If you're with a guy that likes you, he should like you with all your hair. I don't wax. I do not wax. Waxing is whack. I do not. I do not. Love me with my hair. Like, love me like... It's, do you know, like, I have to, I have to sit up like this, like, all, all, like, it's just annoying. I don't like it. So, um, when we got to the hotel, there was a bunch of guys, a bunch of guys. We will get to that one day. But, um, I was drunk. I bro broke my virginity while I was drunk. Do I remember the rest of the experience? No. But I was drunk. But I was cool. happy that I broke it with the love of my life, not the love of my life, ew, but 100, I, I, I think that he took advantage to the fact that I was too drunk, but yeah, I broke my virginity when I was drunk, it's not a cute story to tell, I wouldn't tell my children that I, your mom broke your, her virginity while she was drunk, that's, that's no, 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 no. But yeah, that's when I think my life changed after that day. And we're still gonna get to that. My life changed completely. After that, to be quite honest with you, I did not value sex. I did not value sex at all. I just started having sex because it's sex. I'm with a boyfriend, you must have sex. I met this guy you must have sex and it, there was no meaning to me having sex anymore to the point where when I started having sex I, I didn't even like kissing the guy I didn't like the foreplay ntoni ntoni that comes after you know all of that I didn't like being kissed I didn't like being touched I just liked just getting into it we have sex we done did you come sure so i would even ask a guy after we had um after we we, 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 we we have sex like did you come or during sex like dude are you coming or not i would be in a hurry like chop chop i want you to be done i want you to be done with the sex thing and it happened for quite some time that i didn't respect sex i didn't know what sex was but little did I know that when you have sex with someone, you guys share something. My spirit becomes your spirit and your spirit becomes my spirit. Your spirit becomes my spirit. Emotionally, I was just dating for sex. I was just having sex for the fuck of it. Like, period. And I started enjoying sex when I started talking more about sex, when I started discovering what my vagina needs and what my vagina doesn't want, and 
only let's say 2018 to 2019 that's when i started discovering my vagina and what i need what makes me happy kissing and everything and it's sad it's sad that i discovered that after a while but i'm glad that i am in this position because let me tell you sex is great like i love sex i'm sure you love sex too don't be scared to, to tell me that you love sex write it write it down on your comment say i love sex and so sex makes me feel good and i feel great when i have sex from the day that i broke my virginity to i think i was i broke my virginity when i was 17 right and from 20 21 that's when i stopped having unnecessary sex unnecessary sex is when you just sit like this literally and you just let the guy have sex with you no action nothing you just wait for him to come and that's <laughs> that's when um I, I stopped i stopped doing that but i had a friend who told me if that guy is horrible at sex don't make a sound sweetie do not make a sound do Say zilch, do not make a sound. And after, after the whole unnecessary sex thing, I realized that I'm a freak. I am a freak. I like guys who just whips out their penis when we're driving, and I just, I just like seeing one. And I started researching more about sex, how to come, how to, how to have an orgasm how to have an orgasm and it's been hard to be honest with you it's been hard because i masturbate a lot probably four times a week i masturbate i watch Pornhub all day every day and what i like about Pornhub is that i get to watch women having it i, I don't know also i'm bisexual by the way um, I like seeing women having sex, um, I like having sex with men, I like having sex with women. My first experience when I was, when I had sex with a woman was when I went to Joburg Farmer's Market. And this girl, I could see, you know, a bisexual or a lesbian can recognize one. You don't have to search for one. You guys recognize each other. So, um, this girl was just touching me the whole time and i was thinking what's going on should i let my gut down what's going on we were driving to Midrand after that and we were kissing the whole time and i'm like okay she's good looking i don't like light skinned girl by the way she was good looking but she was light skinned i don't like i don't, I don't like myself i'm light skinned but she was light skinned and she was good looking i feel like okay well, i remember i asked her to walk with me to the car and when we got there that's when it started so my first experience with a girl was in a car and after that it was you know it was fun but i was with my ex-boyfriend then so this girl had the nerve to tell my ex-boyfriend that i had sex with her i thought it was supposed to be a secret but no 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 not to this light-skinned girl and i realized that She's actually annoying and I will never probably have sex with her ever again because she talks a lot. I don't like people that talk too much. I've had sex with one girl. Yeah, I've had sex with one girl and I've kissed hundreds of girls. Girls kissing girls is definitely not bisexual, but I mean, I've kissed straight girls, but sometimes just, I don't know. But I am bisexual, I'm attracted to pretty girls. I'm attracted to dark skinned girls with ass. Sex with a man is very difficult. Sex with a man is very difficult because that man has to find your your G spot. And it's very hard for a man to find your G spot. I feel like a man has to learn your body in order to find your G spot. I feel like if you have a boyfriend and you haven't had an orgasm, don't don't be angry at him. Don't say he's suck at sex he doesn't some like a woman's body is very very difficult 
like it's very I, I had to learn that it's very very difficult I mean yeah sure with my hands I can just rub my clit and I just have an orgasm but with a guy it's just so different he has to learn your body he has to learn which position makes you have an orgasm and which position dries you up or it's painful like he has to learn your body and that's the beauty of being in a relationship with a man and I feel like if you have bad sex the first time don't just cancel it out teach your boyfriend teach your man teach your husband how to do you and that's what I'm doing right now I'm discovering myself I'm discovering what I like I'm not going to cancel you out because if you start canceling people out then you're gonna have multiple partners and you're gonna start having sex a lot of times and then you're gonna contract STIs, infections, even though you use protection, but you're still going to contract BV because BV also comes, it's not sexually transmitted, but BV comes when you have multiple, when you change multiple partners. So just teach your boyfriend how to do you. Say, uh uh, baby, this is how you do me. Go slower, go faster, and you'll have great sex. I'm still continuing. To finding my own journey towards sex i'm still i still want great sex i still want to i, I i'm desperate for great sex to have the deepest orgasm like five minutes orgasm i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm desperate to just to just throw water everywhere <laughs> you know i'm just desperate i'm still finding myself my mom is probably gonna watch this and she's probably gonna find out the kind of girl that I am but mama and thank you for tuning in do leave a comment and our all questions and I will answer to all your questions and yeah stay tuned into our next episode